So the ping pong explosion video was pretty insane. And we started talking and we thought, you know, it, it's really cool. So maybe we should just go bigger. Totally, absolutely, unbelievably, ridiculously insane. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get all the ping pong balls? I went to Big Five, a lot from Amazon. And so there's basically no more ping pong balls in LA? No. Is this new? You guys got new ones? Yeah. It's a whole operation. Yep. Safety is the number one priority. It's good that we have these, we need these. And we have seven face shields and a lot of goggles, lab coats, and chemical gloves as well. Great job Thank in color you. selection. <laughs> A little fun behind the scenes. Nick doesn't tell people when he wears earplugs. He just lets them get surprised. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah. And what do you put in here? Uh, put liquid nitrogen in there. Oh right. Yeah. Is that because the liquid nitrogen touches the plastic and does something? No, it actually. So as the liquid nitrogen is in the open air, it expands. And these bottles are rated roughly between 150 and 250 PSI. And so as that nitrogen expands in these bottles, then eventually it gets to the failure point and then it explodes. Essentially, it lets all of that gas loose and that inside of the trash can pushes up all of those ping pong balls. Oh. And the water is in there just to like speed this reaction up. Oh. Because the water is probably what, like 60 degrees, 70-ish degrees. Liquid nitrogen is negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really cold. Yes, super duper cold. What if you put your hand on it? Uh, you can like do this, like that. And you're fine. And you're fine. Because your hand, like, as it goes in, your hand is so warm in comparison that it creates this little like vapor layer around it. Uh -huh. And you never actually touch the liquid nitrogen. It actually vaporizes before you touch the liquid. Oh, wow. But if you do it too much, then that vapor gets super cool too. The air does, and then it frostbites your hand. So don't want to do it too long. Yeah, it's really crazy, yeah. You just don't want to like hold it in there. You have to create the fill line so you know exactly where you're going to be at with the liquid nitrogen. Roughly three inches uh, like from the bottom is what is recommended from Steve Spangler. Thank you, Steve Spangler. I'm gonna just go ahead and make sure that these are all uniform so that these roughly release at the same time. Safety is number one priority. You're looking pretty good over there. <laughs> look how safe it is. You're the safest we have ever been. <laughs> That's actually really cool. It looks really good. You have to kind of look like a beekeeper. I've done, I've done it before. It's fun. <laughs> look at go ahead. this. Just put it on your head. Huh? You put it in a bun. You gotta put it on your head. <laughs> put it in a bun. Put it in a bun. Did you know science Nick wears earplugs but he doesn't tell people? Ow! <laughs> See? <laughs> Scientist friend Nick. Did you say final? <laughs> We're back with our what? final episode. <laughs> the other day we did ping pong balls with one garbage bin. So today we have ping pong balls with five different garbage bags. <laughs> cool. So yes. now's the part in the video where I usually yell boring. That's true, yes. But I want to say, working with you these last few weeks, I've learned a lot about science. Oh, I appreciate that. And I uh, have a new thank respect you. for what you do. Oh, thank you. And I still think you're the most boring <laughs> ever met. Strategically, this one's going to have to work very, like, efficiently, meaning we can't screw up. Um, so, <laughs> what we did last time is we put the liquid nitrogen into the two liter containers, we locked them off, and then we threw them into the recycling bins. We're gonna do the same thing, except for we're gonna be working in pairs. So, does everyone have a buddy today? <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna screw the bottles on together, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that call. I'm gonna pour liquid nitrogen into two two liter bottles. Then two other people are gonna pour them into one. The liquid nitrogen can be- You can, you can tell he's making this up as he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I have my shift at Chili's in one hour. <laughs> so we need to move this along. <laughs> Once the liquid nitrogen is in the bottles, it's fine. The second that we tighten that top, that's when the clock starts. And we have about 10 seconds. It's How about important. Susie and Nick, and I'll stand right there. Please. Susie and Nick will all die. <laughs> we'll all die. No, Susie and Susie Dr. And Dr. Nick. Nick. Remember the Simpsons, Dr. Oh. Nick? Hi, everybody. None of out. these people went to college or have any science we background. Did. We did yeah. two years at a community college, okay? <laughs> Nick calls it off. He's like, you know what? Actually, that's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so we got one. I think it's good. 
They kind of look like gumballs. Even all the way out by my car, there is a ping pong ball. It must have escaped through the front door. Totally insane to do five of them all at once. Um, if you guys haven't seen the last video, uh, I explain how the reaction works, but here's how it works. So we put the liquid nitrogen inside of the soda bottles. And as soon as we cap off uh, the top, then what happens is, is the liquid nitrogen goes from the liquid phase into the gas phase. And when that happens, it begins to expand. And that's because um, nitrogen expands roughly 700 times uh, its volume in its gas form as opposed to its liquid form. And so eventually the bottle just can't hold the pressure and it explodes. And when it explodes, it sends the nitrogen gas um, shooting upwards in the recycling bin and pushes out all of those ping pong balls. And it also looks like there's water Water that's kind of splashing around everywhere and that's because we put water at the bottom of the recycling bins in order to speed up the process to get the uh, liquid nitrogen to go from its liquid form to its gas form. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below um, if, if you guys have ever seen this before or if this was like the first time you've ever seen the liquid nitrogen ping pong ball explosion experiment. Um, if you guys like this video make sure to give us a thumbs up if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button and I'll see you really soon.